So here's the scene. It is outside the President Trump's speech. He's just given his accepted, well, not accepted speech, but victory speech. And people broke into song. beautiful to watch. So let's really win. Winning the election is one thing. Let's really win. Talk about that. Sometimes victory is right within your grasp and then it's just taken out of your hands. I was in the gym working out when this terrible sound happened. I was bench pressing, not even that much weight for me. And this terrible ripping sound happened. And I realized I just tore my shoulder. And it didn't immediately hurt, but my friend Boris heard it. He heard it rip. My coach standing about two feet away. Nah, that's not true. She's about three feet away. She heard it. And she screamed, get it off, lift, lift, lift. And I had to have surgery. So 48 weeks later, I got my first push-up and my first pull-up. 48 weeks. Fast forward a couple of years. And I had surgery on my other shoulder. Please don't blame CrossFit. My uncles, who are largely sedentary people, have both had the same surgery I have. We have bone spurs that grow in our bodies. It's part of our bodies and the way they work. I had to have surgery on my other shoulder. I got my push-ups and pull-ups back in 12 weeks. Multiple push-ups, multiple pull-ups in 12 weeks. So what was the difference? It was the same exact surgery, the same exact surgery. What was the difference? It was this, about seven days after my surgery, I flew down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. My friend Ben, who's my sports med doc, went with me. In fact, he carried my bag a lot of the time. I got ethically gathered stem cells. This comes from placentas and umbilical cords only, never anything to do with abortion, injected into my right shoulder, 42 million of them. And here's the crazy thing. I woke up the next morning in the hotel, this beautiful place called Paradise Village, right on the water. And I forgot which shoulder had been operated on. I started to push myself up with my right shoulder. Wait, 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 that's the surgeon's shoulder. It had already destroyed the inflammation. The stem cells then went to work building muscle and tendon where it had been cut by my doctor. And I have a great surgeon. He did a great job. You simply can't heal as quickly without these stem cells. And sometimes it can even help you avoid surgery altogether. And they'll tell you if they can do that. Go to renew.healthcare. It's R-E-N-U-E dot healthcare. Elevate your quality of life by getting actual healthcare, not medicine. It's renew.healthcare. There was a huge shift towards President Trump with some voting blocks that just flat freaked the Mockingbird media out. But look at the difference in the margin. So Harris is getting in Pennsylvania 58% of the Latino vote. Again, 6% of the electorate to Donald Trump's 41%. That's a 17-point advantage. But four years ago, Biden beat Trump with Latinos in Pennsylvania by 42 points. So that is a huge movement for Trump in narrowing that. Let's really win. Here's a crazy thing about the, the Hispanics. The BIPOCs, ready? Super crazy. They're people. They can watch their cities destroyed just like we can. They can watch their neighborhoods turned into crime fests just like we can. They can see their kids put to, put to risk because of fentanyl and gangs just like we can. They can watch elections happen under truly suspicious circumstances just like we can. They could watch a former president railroaded on made-up charges just like we can. They could watch an empty woman like Kamala Harris, who frankly doesn't exist, just like we can. They can be offended by her being the choice to be installed as the nominee, never having gained a vote, just like we can, because Hispanics are people just like us. They can see their kids threatened by gender ideology. They can see their kids told to turn into racists. They can see all of this. They can see ungodly activity in the White House. They can see people having sex in the Senate, some of the Senate chamber rooms. 
They can see open Satanists working there. They can see sexual activity on the lawn of the White House. They don't like it. They're people. So let's do this. Keep engaging. Do not say, hey, thanks for your vote. See you later. Get into Hispanic neighborhoods and continue to listen. Immediately get into some of these areas and immediately begin cleaning up the schools. Take acts right now when the president takes office to get into these cities. Tell the mayors publicly, you will clean up the cartels or we will. We'll send in feds. We're done. Really win. Another shocking thing how well President Trump did with some other BIPOCs. First up, timing of your vote. We know so many went out for early voting. Let's see how those votes are breaking down in Georgia. Those who cast their vote early, look at this. They did not prefer a candidate if they early voted. It is split, 49 for Harris, 49 for Trump. All right, let's look at some of these other key data points. We know race was huge. Uh, the black vote was huge for Biden uh, when he won by just a bit in Georgia there in 2020. So let's look at how they are turning out um, in this election. All right, this is the first time we can break this down. Among black voters and their support for Kamala Harris, while strong, she is below where Biden was in 2020, four years ago. This number for Biden was more like 91. So she's running about eight points behind where Biden was with the black vote in Georgia in 2020. Again, shocking news about black people. They're people. All the same factors apply. They, too, can see their cities burning. They, too, can see their kids being made into to, to sexually damaged people who are going to have horrible times creating natural relationships. They, too, are sick of being told that boys are girls and girls are boys. So be there. Before Michael Steele lost his mind, and may God rescue Michael Steele, he took us, when I was at the Republican National Committee, he took us into black neighborhoods. And there were Republicans I was with who were truly uncomfortable until they got comfortable talking with people. Just as I talked about with Hispanic neighborhoods, get in there and begin the activities now, beginning with listening, constant listening, and constant now activity to deliver what Barack Hussein Obama, the first black president, should have done, which is a cleaning up the gang activities there. And one other thing while we're really winning. There was a woman who ran in New Hampshire's 2nd Congressional District, and uh, Jake Sullivan's wife didn't know what to do with this woman, Lily Tang Williams, because Lily Tang Williams knows, knows how to speak truth. She didn't win, but because she's an immigrant and she's seen what tyranny is like, she can speak to it as she does in this clip. And hope for the best, hope that the results will trickle down to hardworking people. I take a very different approach. I believe that the middle class deserves a tax cut and I believe that we will do a lot for this country by ensuring that we don't continue this disastrous Mr. tax Lennon. policy. Ms. Williams. You are wealthy. You are worth $20 million to $30 million. How do you know about regular people suffering? Do you go shopping, go to Walmart, buy food? I talk to those people. And you pretend to be rendered in Nashua a few months ago, walk back to run for this open seat with millions of dollars from Washington, D.C. insiders. And the millions, millions of dollars, I don't have money to run a TV ad. And you pretend you are poor, complain rent is so high. You couldn't save that apartment for other people to rent in Nashville. I just go back to your $2 million home in Portsmouth. Please don't say that because you do not understand regular people's concern. People cry in my arms on this Sorry. issue. Get women like her in a position in the campaign to reach out to Asian neighborhoods, to reach out to Asian people. Build the outreach now for J.D. Vance. Please don't play the game where you're going to decide who, you're, who, who, who gets to succeed you next, President Trump. Please don't do that. Please make plans now for it to be J.D. Vance. Do not stop this momentum. And the last thing, remember, you didn't do any of this. Remember to be humble. Let's really win. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. The Lord changes times and seasons. He deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. So let's remember that and pray that somehow 
by really winning, as we just talked about, you can also really unite by letting God unite through you.